Okay, in today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the 20.2 Apex cards. Uh, here we've got a simple navigation where we can click on a card and it'll display a separate cards region below it. Um, but in this case, from a UI UX perspective, we didn't want to have the cards be big. You know, uh, right now, if we look at what's created and we go over to our attributes, we have the five column set up. You know, you can go two, three, four, five, and auto. Okay. Now, if you flip it over to auto, for example, and, and you refresh, I think it gets even bigger um, or it'll it'll go to default to five column. Uh, what I wanted to do in this case was make these smaller and maybe have uh, up to 10 columns uh, go across the, the bottom of the page, right? Because in my case, I'm showing players. So how do you do that? All right. So what we're going to begin with is we're going to first go in. Let me just flip this back to five column. Um, and down here, uh, uh, we'll hit save, we'll go to our region. The first thing we're, we're going to want to do um, is put a static uh, ID uh, on, on our player's region. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll call it player uh, baseball cards. Let me copy this. All right, now if I refresh the page over here, um, let's take a look at what's happening in the CSS. So if, we go in to inspect the element, you can see that our region will pick up the static ID. Um, so oops, let's go to the next one. Okay, so we've got our ID down here, um, looking at the, the various cards regions. And if we look at a card itself, we'll see that it essentially goes into a list object uh, in, in, uh, inside of it. Now the key piece is right here, which is the grid template you can see for the CSS has a repeat of five with the min uh, max frames right here. So um, the quickest way to do it would be to overwrite the CSS and go set that to a value of 10. This will be a grid template of, of, of 10 across, uh, which aligns nicely to the, the five uh, that we have above. All right, so we just simply need to overwrite that in the, in the page CSS itself. Um, and you've, we've done this numerous times. So with the static ID in place, now we can go up here to our home and our inline um, CSS. We use our static ID and we'll just overwrite the five column grid uh, with a 10 column setting. We'll hit okay, save. And now uh, once this saves, if we go back and uh, refresh our page here, You can see that it'll now put 10 cards across the bottom without impacting the five card or, or the layout of the one above. So that's a real quick hack on how you can uh, get uh, kind of adjust your card, the number of cards you want in a grid setting uh, in Apex 20.2.